Hello. I'm going to talk about a kiss of a man in his 50s who previously lived in Africa, presented with more of the Nordestan sons. So the next slide will show his uh, city with IV contrast. So this is the three image of his city in, in the palace. So what we see here is the calcified bladder. And also we can see a part of calcified prostate and seminalis. And on this image, on the upper right, we can see the right side ureter calcification and the middle low. We see the calcified uh, bladder with erectile and sickening wall. And we can also see the calcified prostate. And, uh, Seminaries. So on the coronal view, same, we can see the same image of the calcified bladder. On the left image, and you know, we can see the Calcify seminaries and on the right image we can see the calcify ureter. On the side of you of the less same person we can see also calcify urinary bladder. In the middle, the same classified urinary bladder, and the right side image so about the classified ureter. So in the non-contrast, we can see definitely classified bladder, prostate classified and similarly classified. In the story, patient previously lived in Africa. So what we will find in the city, so the finding of the city is any sign of high process. Other findings include a mild dilated lab distorted letter with concentric moral classification, circumferential bladder wall sickening with incomplete rim classification, and classification of the bilateral seminal vesicle. What is the difference with diagnosis of this case? First one could be drug reaction. This can could be eosinophilic cystitis. The second, the third is radiation cystitis. The fourth is cystosomiasis of urinary tract. The fifth is squamous cell carcinoma. The last one maybe tuberculosis cystitis. So the final case, the final diagnosis for this case is likely cystosomiasis of the urinary tract and follow up with laboratory exam demonstrated elevated cystosoma immunoglobulin 
IgG antibody. So the, this case is urinary drug cystosomiasis. So what is this? In the pathophysiology, cystosomiasis is the a parasitic disease caused by blood during flux of the genus cystosoma. Urinary tract cystosomiasis is caused by cystosoma hematobium. It's a cycle focus on the cycle of cytosoma hematobium. So when the patient pass stool or urine, it transmit into the water and then the parasite attached to the snails. And then from the snail, developing into the sicari, uh, which can penetrate to the skin and during uh, penetration it becomes a cystosomia it can circulate, circulate in, in the bloodstream go to the liver become the adult parasites And the cycle has come again, it go to the urinary tract and cause the infection in there. And some, the age of it can pass through the urine and water and then snail and then penetrate into the people again who come to attack with the infected uh, water by parasites. The epidemiology of cystosomiasis is the one of the most prevalent parasitic infection in the world with approximately 200 million individuals infected and roughly 20 million with severe presentation. In Sub-Saharan Africa, can count for over 90% of the world case and over 200,000 dead per year. And due to system biases, the main burden of disease in Sub-Saharan Africa is attributed to two species of Sersosoma, Mansoni, and Cystosoma hematobium. The presentation of hematobium in cystosoma hematobium infection is usually with urinary frequency, dysuria, hematuria. It, uh, it complication is urethric stricture and hydronephrosis, sign of chronic renal failure as a complication. So as cell carcinoma of the bladder as a late complication. Women with urogenitosis or somnus can present with dyspanaria, dyspanaria, Genital lesion and vaginal bleeding is also an increased risk of HIV infection. Men with urogenital cystosomiasis can present with a pathology of the seminal vesicle and the prostate. Infertility can be a complication of this. NCT. 
the in early stage, we can find no dull bladder or sickening. In chronic state, we can find a small bladder with calcified walls. Ureteral calcification is like at the distal ureter. In a late complication, we can find urethral strictures and hydraulic process. On CT male patient, calcification of the seminal vesicle and or prostate. Patient with urinary tract cystosomiasis are predominant, predisposed to squamous cell carcinoma of the bladder. On CT, the tumor can present as a single enhancing mass with can also present as area of bladder wall sickening, wall sickening and calcification from chronic cystosoma hematobium. Infection may be complicate the diagnosis. Cystoscopy can further evaluate finding in high risk patient. Treatment. Treatment is the most effective with brachycontel. That when the most effective medication for cystosomiasis is the two different one is from admini and the one is from radiographic twenty twelve. Thank you.